oscilloscopes are mainly used to monitor the changes of electric signals over time. These changes are displayed on a two-dimensional grid, where the horizontal axis represents time and the vertical axis represents voltage. This mode of operation is called the YT mode. Sometimes, it is desirable to display one input signal versus another input signal. In this case the XY mode of the oscilloscope, which plots the changes of one signal with respect to the other, is used. The resulting pattern is referred to as the Lissajous pattern. The purpose of this experiment is to familiarize you with the basic uses of such patterns, what they may mean, and show how to make interesting Lissajous images using an arbitrary signal generator. In the XY mode applying sine waves of the same frequency to channel 1 and 2 produces a simple Lissajous pattern on the oscilloscope's screen. Depending on their phase difference, the pattern can change from a line to a circle. Also frequency ratio and magnitude of the sine waves change the appearance of the pattern. Traditionally, these patterns have been used to determine the phase difference between two signals. The frequency of one of the signals can be roughly calculated based on the frequency of the other one. For example, for a frequency ratio of 4, the Lissajous figure crosses three times to make four distinct areas in the pattern. For this Lissajous pattern, this frequency ratio is calculated. Similarly, the ratio of the signal's frequencies for this other pattern can be calculated to be 17. Changing one or both waves to non-sinusoids can yield some unique Lissajous patterns. Other signal information can also be obtained from these patterns, which we leave for later experiments. For the rest of this activity, we show how to generate arbitrary waves corresponding to any given image which can be displayed on an oscilloscope screen. In this presentation, we use Analog Arts SL957, but any high bandwidth oscilloscope with a fast arbitrary generator can be used instead. To produce these images, we need two signal sources. The first signal is the output of the generator, which through a coax cable is connected to channel 1 or the X input of the oscilloscope. The generator's sync output can be used as the other signal. The sync signal is first bypassed to ground with a capacitor which reduces its rise and fall times. Then it is AC coupled by a second capacitor, and through a coax cable connected to channel 2 or the Y input of the oscilloscope. This creates a rough synchronized triangle wave which is used as the vertical sweep for the generation of the image. By providing the appropriate X and Y signals, any image can be created. Now, the tricky part is how to generate the signal representing the intended image. For this, a simple Python application program is used which converts a given image to its representing waveform. It is then saved in a text file that can be loaded to the arbitrary generator. The resulting signal waveform itself looks more like noise. However, when viewed in XY mode with the previously described vertical sweep, the original image appears. At any given time, the vertical sweep specifies where in the image is presently being displayed. Because the horizontal sweep is synchronized with the arbitrary function generator output, we can predict what should appear on the screen. Note that there is a potential pitfall, at times the arbitrary signal needs suddenly be at two different voltage levels. Slow rise and fall times between the levels distorts the image. For this, the arbitrary function generator must have the capability of generating fast changing signals. Also, the bandwidth of the oscilloscope must be sufficiently high not to jeopardize these waves.